Hello everyone, welcome back to the Crew Motorfest. In today's video, as you can see by the title, the thumbnail, what's on the screen right now, I'm going to be doing the entire playlist of the Automobili Lamborghini. Um, yeah, we actually have a requirement to do, which is buy the mirror. So let's go buy the mirror. Hopefully it's, yeah, okay. 400k, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Let's buy it. Slap it. Oh, it has, oh, it's either the green. Oh. It's either the green or the red, I think, for the mirror. It just looks good on both of those. Actually, even the yellow looks good. I kind of want to uh, pick the green on it, though, just because it looks... It looks so iconic. I'm, pu I'm putting the green on it. I don't really care. Such an iconic color. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the Lamborghini playlist. And I want to do the entire thing, obviously. So, that is what's happening. Um, I need to leave, actually. That's what I need to do. Because I think it already... So cool. Very cool. That sounds really good. A few pops here and there. But it's not like pops and bangs, it's like old school like pops. Oh, the gear changes are so slow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That is very cool. I really like that. All right, let's uh, let's head over into the, to the playlist. <laughs> that sounds so sick. That sounds really, really good. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is, because I've been drifting around a little bit, I might need to turn on my traction control to sport, right? Um, that is in difficulty. Yeah, traction control, put that on to sport. ESP is also on sport. For the looks of things, for whatever reason, changing my ESP to sport instead of leaving it off actually helps with drifting. It makes the car seem a lot smoother and a little bit better when I'm drifting. I don't know why. But it just does. It feels a little nicer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if, I, if I'm going to keep that on or not. Regardless, we're not going to be doing any drifting. I think in this playlist, I think we're going to drive some really, really rare Lamborghinis. Very cool ones. As well. So that's... Uh, that's probably what's going to happen for, uh, for today. Here we are. Very cool. Very, very cool. Just a massive collection of V10 and V12 cars. Yes. Let's uh, let's see what Lamborghini is all about. All about. First event is basically the same as the rest of them. A bunch of little side challenges as well as some picture spots as well as a couple of, um, I think, things to collect as well. I am pretty sure. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, all the collectibles and side missions and all that sort of stuff I'm going to do later on, of course. <laughs> Why is my car in the bushes? Or in the fence? Okay, well, I'm 10 kilometers away, so I think I'm going to fly there. Instead of just driving this mirror all the way through there. How do I even get there? I have, to, I have to drive on a footpath here to even get on this road. Alright, anyway. I'm going to fly there because it'll be a lot quicker if I do so. So, yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get there. I actually realized you can fast travel to one of the places that was next next to the thing. Also, don't worry about the neons under the car. I had to do it for, um, for a little challenge. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I have to drive the Mirror SV, which is perfectly fine. That's exactly what it is. 
planning on doing anyway. <laughs> it's not like I have any options either. Alright. Very cool. It is the V12 Ferrari that started it. Or, whoa! <laughs> the V12 Lamborghini that started it. Oh my god, that was a big mistake. Big mistake calling it a Ferrari. It is the big V12 Lamborghini that started it. Let's see what this is all about. Yo, relax. Oh, it's one of those races where I have to do, like, clean driving. The thing is, though, with the whole clean driving thing, I have to be really, really careful because they're all going to crash into me. So even if I am doing clean driving, they apparently don't want to do any sort of clean driving, so... This actually drives quite well. Tiny bit of lean and tiny bit of body roll, but overall... Seems to be quite nice. We have two laps of this, this race here. I also have to get used to driving in this game again, because I haven't driven in it in a few days now. I tried to record my videos like in bulk. Oh my god, see what I mean? Like, even though I'm trying to do clean driving... Whoa. Doing a big retry on that one. <laughs> what the hell? First of all, I think I let them get way too far ahead way too early. And then second of all, I fell into the side. Which, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a no-no. That's a big no-no. And then the clean driving thing, I need to be careful with that as well. Hopefully these guys don't brake check me. Oh, I'm trying to get him on the inside, but like, the car just hops and slides a little bit. Don't crash me. No, don't crash into me. Stop it. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. The gear changes are so slow. I mean, it is an old car and a big old clutch and... A manual and all that, but like, it's so sluggish. It's a really tight left-hander, so... <laughs> Yo, Lux. Am I even going to be able to actually win this or get anywhere close to like the top? Top three? Uh, maybe. I just have to play- Oh, no, no, you don't. I think I have to play a little bit more aggro. I've been playing it very safely. I think a little bit more aggro is probably the way to go here. Here. Easy does it now. Mm. 
Yo. Well, it was the second place for me. That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. Honestly, it's been like four or five days since I've actually touched like this game. I like like played it properly. Like the only thing I've done, I think, that was definitely was like probably a build. And that was pretty much it. So hopping back on and, and playing this game. <laughs> it kind of uh It kind of put me in a bit of a bit of a bad place. Alright, anyway, doesn't matter. Let's move on to the next playlist. Do I have a Lamborghini that I can actually select? So it's my new like favorite car. Uh surely, right? I have this. I could probably drive around in that. Right, I can even drive around the mirror as well for a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really matter because if it's the if it's like far away, then I'm just going to end up. Uh, yeah, there's a mirror. Let's just take the mirror out. But I, I think I have upgrades for this. I do. I can just max it out. I can just max it out. Um. Yeah, let's drive it. Still changes gear is kind of slow. It is significantly faster than before. Oh, but yeah, this is the reason why I want to drive there is because, oh yeah, the suspension is so much nicer. The tires are so much nicer. I mean, it is upgraded. But yeah, the uh, the escapes, right? These are there's a, a few of these escapes that they've added with this playlist. Jesus, so slow. So. Uh, I'm trying to now just drive to this place. Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah, I just wanted to do the escape real quick as well whilst I'm uh, in this. Extra money, extra crash, and all that. Skip all that. Open the menu. Let's go. Cool. Countash. Are we just gonna go through all the evolutions of the, the V12s? I think so, right? So the Mirror, the Countach, the Diablo, the Merchalago, the Aventador, and then the Revuelto. It's probably something else extra, right? Yeah, it is. I can literally see it. Sian's there as well. There's the old Countach. These are so cool. Seeing one of these in real life is insane. They're just so bad. Hey, what am I doing? Oh, outrun the clock. They're just so bad. Incredibly, incredibly unreliable cars. Very badly put together, apparently. But they're just so cool. They are very, very, very cool. Oh my sweet Jesus, I didn't realize, oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that we had the damage thing. I just got rid of like, I just got rid of like 200 bucks, just smashing into those. I was like, yeah, why not, you know, just for the fun of it, let's smash into these. Okay, trying to crash into these this time around. I can get close to them, but not crash into them. Yeah, just like that. I love how I'm turning the corner and it's just... Okay, I was turning the corner and it... Like, uh... Just didn't have the power to like push itself along through the corner. Uh, again, I have to be careful because these time trial things, they have these like cones and things in the way that you have to go around them Even though it is on this bit of road It's like forcing you either to the left or to the right or something So I gotta be careful with that Whoa, it's sideways There we go, ESP helped me out a little bit there Ah, oh, it's a big crash Going. Yeah, this also leans a lot, like the mirror. Oh my god, it, it like has no grip. 
Oh, I gotta be really, really careful with it, actually. Yeah, these are, see, these are like the markers or cones or whatever. They're not cones, but the flake, fake plastic walls. Oh, the pops are so cool. The pops for the exhaust of this thing are so sick. And they're not like... They make the sound like they're not artificial, you know? So they're like very like realistic. It's just it's just random pops, you know? It's not like it's a it's like a pop and bang tune like a map on uh, on your little Ford Fiesta nowadays. This is it's like raw. It's like raw actual pops. Sounds really good. Even in a video game it sounds really good. Okay. Might as well do that, because I feel like if I don't, I'm gonna end up crashing into something, spinning out. So might as well accelerate when I'm sliding. It's gonna push me close to the inside. Yeah, a little bit. It's fine. It's all good. Try to slow down a tiny bit here for this. Is that the finish line? I think that's the finish line now. Next up, yeah it is. Lots of time left. This one was an easy event. Oh. The contact's grip is just odd. It's just odd. Okay. That's uh <laughs> that was easy. Even though it was uh it was a little awkward to drive. Just a little bit. Alright. Anyway. Moving on. Next up should be the Diablo, right? If, uh, if we're doing it like that. This actually feels so much nicer to drive now. Very noticeably nicer. Okay. We're not very far away, that's why I'm not, like, using the plane or anything to get there. So many collectibles. Uh, what are you doing? What was that? Is it like, look, there's a photo up here. Take a picture of the Lamborghini Mirror SV in front of the graffiti. Oh, wait, you're using Nitro. Where is that? Oh, I found it. Why am I, uh... My NOS is inactivated. Am I driving too slow for it? There we go. Much better. Boom. Well, easy stuff. I found it. That wasn't actually too, too hard. It was just, like, to the left. That should give us some slightly extra money. And a bunch of XP as well, which is good. 23 grand for that. It's basically the same as doing a race. Literally the exact same as doing a race. So yeah, there you go. This is why driving to the specific place is probably a better idea than flying there because there's so many of these like little side missions and things that force you to, well, some force you to do them, but like they pop up along the way, uh, along the way, you know, so you can just do them. And I feel like it's a little bit easier to do that. And, uh, I'm probably going to do that a lot more often instead. All right. Next up is the Diablo, right? If we're doing it that way. Wait, is the Mercy not in this game? I can't believe the Mercy Lago is not in this game. It's Diablo SV, isn't it? Oh, Diablo GT. Sorry, 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 sorry. Very cool car. Really, really cool. I really used to love the Diablo as a kid. And this one using the the Nissan 300 ZX headlights as well. Huh? 
Oh, cool car. Yeah, see you later, mate. I'm not, I'm not playing this, this game anymore, where I just sit back and watch you guys race. I'd rather waste a little bit of money at the very beginning than just shoot ahead. Oh, it's so much nicer than the Countach. Oh my god. It's such a big difference. That is a bit stupid, though. Like, it wants you to do clean racing, but then the AI crashes into you. And it's not really, like, your fault or anything like that. Go on, a 40. I'll let you get ahead for now. That was clean, up until the point where I smashed into the wall, but that was clean. <laughs> Somehow, somewhere, I just threw it into that little gap. Still changes gears quite slowly. Quite hectic inside. I also keep forgetting that with the NOS, it's not continuous, it's like. What I mean by that is, like, when it's changing gears, it's gonna be really slow. So I have to wait until he changes gears. And then. Use the loss again. That is the best way to utilize it. Let those things. Ugh. My tester is on my tail. Don't even care about my, my extra cash. Screw it. Anything to win. Anything to win. My difficulty set fairly high, so... <laughs> I hate to cheat. As much as I possibly can. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it. We will take it. I have so many parts. I swear they're all gonna just end up in my, um... In my like post box or whatever, they're all just gonna they're gonna end up there. All right, what do we got here? Next up, the third millennium. Yeah, it should be the mercy though, right? I'm, I am a little bit surprised that the mercy's not in this. A little bit surprised. Alright, what's up next? The hurricane. Hmm. Weird. It's weird that we hop over to the hurricane. Hurricane's dead as well, right? They're not... Uh, it's it's over. They're not making any more of these. It has to be now uh, replaced. I'm guessing the list is like this. Basically exactly what I'm seeing on the screen right now. This is how we're going to be driving all these cars. So the next one's going to be the Euros and all that. And the new Countach. Then the... What's it called? The SV20, I think. Is what that race car is called. And then the Sion. I love, love the sound of the, the Hurricane in this game. It sounds so good. Like, obviously, I made that video as well. Comparing the sounds of the Hurricanes between this game and, and Horizon. And I'm sorry, but the Hurricane in this game just sounds so good. Sounds more like an engine than it does, like, I don't know. Mm. 
than like the, the, the an AI engine, you know what I mean? It just sounds better, in my opinion. It doesn't have the scream though of the 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 the, the V10 in Forza Horizon. But I think the tone is so much better in this. It just seems it just sounds like an actual V10. But I just feel like it doesn't rev high enough. Or it doesn't sound like it revs high enough. It sounds like it revs to about six and a half. Whereas you can see, we're actually revving all the way up to almost eight and a half. Crackles are very nice as well on it. I like the hurricane. Hurricane's a very cool car. Really, really cool. I guess the only car I don't really like, to be honest, that much is probably the Eurus. The only reason why I don't like it is because... I don't know, I just don't see Lamborghini as being an SUV manufacturer, you know? When the Euro is basically under the skin. I, I mean, I know I, I sound like every other person, but... The Euro is under the skin, is just the VW Touareg that's like... Overpriced. Pretty much. You can say the same thing about the Audi Q8 as well. Audi Q8 is basically just a massively overpriced Volkswagen Touareg. It'll still use the same engines up until the point where you get the... The SQ8 and the RSQ8, where it's gonna start using the V8s. Because the Touareg doesn't have that that sort of a uh, that sort of engine that's reserved for Audi and Lamborghini, you know. But again, it just it feels like it it just doesn't feel like it's a uh, it's Lamborghini's own car, you know. But I'm pretty sure that is their best-selling car. Pretty sure the Urus is. Lamborghini's best selling car. And I guarantee you it's probably the the best selling car in California. <laughs> like in California, I guarantee you that that car is is probably king of uh, like a luxury manufacturer. Pretty sure every single person there has has a Euros. Well, every rich person has a Euros. You'll see them every everywhere. I don't know, people in the comments can let me know, but that's that's what I think anyway. That is what I think. This is early gen hurricane as well, isn't it? This is like the the very first of the first. Right, cool. Next up. Six point one kilometers away. We're gonna fly there. Me things. Let's actually off this way. Yeah, we're gonna fly there and try to get there. A little bit quicker. Alright, we made it. Yep, yeah, there's the Eurus. Let's hit it. Let's hit it with the Eurus. See what happens. Can I skip this? Oh, I can't skip this. So we're watching the exact same cinematic every single time. I thought that would, it would change. I don't like dislike the Eurus. I'm just like not a big fan of it. Like it's just not my not my thing. I'm not a big SUV person. Not an SUV person. Never was. Probably never will be. There are some of them that I like. Like I like the Cayenne, for example. I think the Cayenne is just much, just a nicer looking. Can you stop crashing into me. Just a nicer looking SUV. It's like slightly more understated than this thing. This is like it's like typical Lamborghini, you know shouty and loud and made to look as ridiculous as possible, you know, with Lamborghini styling, but I'm definitely more of a Porsche guy. And uh, the Cayenne just looks a little bit better, even though it does use the same engine, I'm pretty sure the Cayenne is significantly faster, weirdly enough, even though I don't think it's supposed to be. I think the Eurus is supposed to be the fastest out of all these uh, twin turbo V8 SUVs from Volkswagen Group. What the? F what was that guy doing? What was that guy's deal? He just started swerving for whatever reason.
Got a slidey slidey off road. Okay. I think I'm catching him slowly. Oh, the bounce. Oh my god. That really threw me off. Really, really threw me off. Please don't do that. Really? Now I'm just losing money because he's crashing into me. I swear to God, if this guy pushes me once again... He's gonna see the underside of this bridge. So aggressive. Okay, that's it. That is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep coming up. Keep coming up. As if that affects me more than him. Oh, here, you know what? Where'd you come from? Oh my god. I've no, like, extra money. No. All that money I spent on the mirror, how am I gonna make it back if I don't get that extra 1,000 credits or bucks? Yeah, that, that hop over the curb there just really throws you off. I can't turn. There you go. Wow, crazy stuff. Man, that was like, a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. That dude just wouldn't give up. He just would not, would not like drop back even a little bit. Alright, that is fine. Again, only 750 parts. Okay, where to next? Where to next? Oh, it's actually like, just around the corner. There's a treasure somewhere. I don't really care for the treasure, not at the moment anyway. There's also a collectible. Or uh, whatever here. I'm probably gonna grab this. Okay, lucky. Okay. Let's see. The new Kuntash. Very cool car. Really, really cool. Especially when it was released. I remember people uh, filming this thing in person. And it's super, super cool. Yeah, let's skip this, because it's the same thing again. Oh, look at it. Very, very cool car. Ooh, sounds good. God, I love that, that TDF. <laughs> Big, shouty V12s. Oh. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, this turns. This like turns, turns. Don't really have to break or anything. Just kind of lift off a little bit and then it, it just darts into the corner. That's nice. That is nice. This is a really short race as well. Or this guy's just really fast, so. We're going through the race very quickly. Oh, 
Hello, everyone. I am back. I have made it. Alright, time to catch the F12 now. I get myself a little bit of nice then. Super clean race. That was very quick. Very, very quick. Sounds very good as well. Alright, cool. That was the Kuntash. The new Kuntash, anyway. Race completed. Nice, we got some hypercar parts as well. We don't have enough of those. What is up next? 3.3 kilometers away. Do I drive there or do I fly there? I'm gonna drive there. I feel like it's not that far away. Hello, fellas. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna join your race real quick. Zoom. What is up next? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, it's the SCV-12. The Ascenza. Alright, let's go. Is this gonna sound as insane as it does in Forza? This is really loud. This car is really, really loud in Forza. And it sounds ridiculous, so... Is it gonna be as ridiculous as that in this game? Oh, yeah. Listen to the all. Oh my god. I have assists on and I still slipped. Very cool. Obviously, fully custom track as well here. What a machine. Damn. Okay. I have to drive in this race like this is an actual race on a track, so... I'm going a little bit faster, but I'm choosing a different driving line. Careful now. No, what? Why? 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 I was trying to be nice and clean, and then you just... I did put myself in a position where... I could try and... Push him wide, and it's just, just nah. It wasn't having any of it. When he came back, and started crashing into me.
Oh, as if I'm not gonna win this, man. That is annoying. Amazing driving skills by a whole, man. I let these guys get way too far ahead, way too early. I should have been on the ball a little bit more, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's a bunch of laps. A 39 second lap! Oh, so much faster than the guy in first place. It's fine. We have to just become top three anyway, so it's, it's all good. It's a sick car, though. Really, really good. Really, really sick car. Alright. What is up next? Next. Oh, someone's in a... In a, in a weird F1 car. I don't think we have that many races left, right? Is this the last one here? I think this might actually be the last one. Or we have to drive the Cyan, right? I think I think so. I actually thought we were going to get the Revuelto as our, as our prize, but it's not. We're going to get the Diablo. I really thought we were going to get the Revuelto. I'm going to have to buy that at some point. So I want to want to listen to it. I want to hear it. All the V12 uh, Lamborghinis in this game sound so good. Really, really good. Um, yeah, there's nothing really here that I can even do with the Lamborghinis. Uh, there's a waiver there. I need to somehow slow this way down. Way, way, way down. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Next up, the Sian of Roadster. Let's have a let's have a listen to this thing. This is also basically a a um a V12 the, the derived from the event door. And a lot of the looks of this thing obviously went into the into the Revuelto. Really cool car. It just looks like a concept car. Like Lamborghini just loves to make cars that look like concept cars, but like in like in production. And it's so so cool. I love that. That's what supercars and hypercars are supposed to be about. They're supposed to look absolutely mental. <laughs> I've lost so much money there by doing what I just did. Oh, why, bro? Just because these guys suck at driving and they smash into the wall, why do I have to suffer? Why do I have to suffer? Go on. Change down a gear. Why am I in fourth? Or fifth? Why am I not in fourth? Thank you. Oh yeah, also someone has said to me that uh, they started changing their... their button layouts for the cars. And they could play with manual and didn't change the layouts of the plane. So I might start doing that maybe for the next for the next video. I might give it a shot. Maybe then I can actually play it with with. Uh, I actually tried to change gear there and I hit the handbrake. There's no way I was talking about changing gears and my mind automatically went to oh yeah this guy's a manual when it just isn't. And I automatically press the button that usually is to change down a gear in Forza, but I hit the handbrake on this. Yeah, so what I was saying is maybe for the next video I can try and see if the suit is correct with the button layouts not changing. Because before in the beta of this game or whatever the early access of this game, when you change the button layouts for the car, it also changed them for the plane. So 
I used to use, or I still do obviously, in the Forza games, I use A and X to change gears on the Xbox controller. So I was like, I'm gonna change the, the buttons on this game as well, so A and X are to change gears. But then it also changed the, the rudder settings for the plane to A and X instead of leaving them as the bumpers, the right and left bumpers. So, yeah, that's why I don't really play with manual. Cause, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I don't like playing with my, my middle finger on the triggers, you know? I always use the, well, like my index finger. Alright. That was it. That was pretty much it. Now we just gotta go get ourselves the, uh, the reward. Which I think I can just fast travel to, right? Because it's just up, kind of like at base. Is it? Oh no, wait, there's one more. This is the Revolto race. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. That's not in the thing, though. Well, I didn't forget. I just didn't think about it. I didn't really think about it. Donut photo op. We'll do that some other time. Ugh. Not for now. More treasures. Don't really care for the treasure. It's somewhere in there. I just can't be bothered. Not right now. Look at all the collectibles there in front of me. Oh my god, they're all in the same place. I think at some point... Nice slide. At some point in this game, uh, I, I am gonna go and just try to get all of them. All the collectibles and that. We'll see. Lamborghini Revuelto. Let's go. Because I knew you get to drive this thing at the very beginning of the game, don't you? Like, it's you, you start off with like the, the intro screen of that. Yeah, look how cool it looks. It looks so, like, more extreme than the uh, Aventador does. And I'm not saying that the Aventador looks bad, it's just that the Aventador we've seen so... so often, and it's just so outdated. This thing looks absolutely ridiculous. A little wide, went too fast. That is my fault. I, uh... Yeah, I tried to cheese it, I was like, Petrol station? That looks like the perfect shortcut. I just wasn't paying attention at all to the the checkpoint. Okay, I need to slow down. I'm going into these corners thinking that this is like a fully upgraded car. It's just, it's still a stock car, so... I need to be much more careful. I still much prefer these like flags for the checkpoints that we have now versus the uh... The massive like buildings that we had as checkpoints in the in the crew too, if you guys remember. If you guys remember in the crew too, those massive towers that we had, and they were completely solid as well. So you crash into them, and it slows you down so much. I don't know if you guys remember that. Bye, Sian. Sorry, but not playing dirty. I don't care. Don't even care. Oh, okay. Oh, that's something I had too much. I think that person, the Lena person in the uh, revolt also crashed. It does slide out a little bit, doesn't it? It just feels a little chunky. Just a little chunky. I wonder what the weight is like for this thing. I actually completely forgot about the specs of this car. Doesn't this thing have like a thousand horsepower? I 
That is staying at a steady 330, though. Like, in the city. In the, in, like, obviously, it's, it's a video game, but... 373, top speed. Jesus. That is a, that is a fast Lambo. That is a fast Lambo. Okay. Well, with that completed... Now, I think... It's the end. A bunch of 900 plus parts as well. For the hypercar. Actually, I think I can probably now upgrade this thing, right? This is a hypercar. Yeah, look. We actually have some, uh, some better parts for this thing. Not suspension, tires we do. There you go. So this thing is now at, at 900. Cool. Oh yeah, also, let's get rid of that, so that is awful. Uh, get rid of Schmork, hang on, get rid of the underglows. Alright, cool, we're done. Six hundred and eighty-five kilometers an hour. That's, that seems legit. That seems very legit. Oh, we're going into here where there's all these like, collectibles as well. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm collecting here. But I collected something. Here. No, nothing. What about on this side? Alright, made it back. Let's, uh, let's grab our, uh, our prize here. Collect our reward. It just, it is. We've seen what the reward is. We've driven it as well. Yeah, it's the Diablo GT. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, me likey. Oh, it's like a... Is it wide-bodied as well? Looks like it's more wide body than normal. No? Yeah, that's it's the oh my god, it's like so heavily modified. Okay. Uh yeah, I'll, I'll pick something next, but yeah, it's like an incredibly heavily modified Diablo. Sounds good. Well, that's it for the Lamborghini playlist. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching everyone. And as usual, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share your support. That's it. Again, thank you for watching everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out everyone. Bye.